people in the United States government and other agencies who deal with disaster relief. She was one of the first believers in Skylife, and we are so pleased that she could be with us today and share her thoughts. Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur. Thank you, Andy, uh, and thanks to all of you, to Mayor McKibben, to Mayor uh, Bell, uh, to the Harbaugh family, uh, to Jeff, to everyone who has brought us together on this uh, post-Mother's Day uh, celebration in this spring. Uh, the heartbeat of America is very, very strong. Uh, I have no doubt about that with citizens like you. And I thought, imagine a nation that drops food and medical supplies to the world. Uh, that is a nation that can endure. I uh, might just say to all those who are wondering, I think that this particular microphone suits uh, Andy Stewart uh, much, much better than his old one. And uh, I want to congratulate him. Uh, let me say on behalf of our entire team uh, here in, in Northern Ohio, uh, just how pleased we are that this concept has advanced uh, so far so fast. I particularly want to thank Steve Kadich, our Chief of Staff, who's joined me today. Somewhere in the audience, I guess, is his son, who's a business student out at the University of Toledo. Is he under a tablecloth now? Or is he? Uh, all right, all right. All A's, all A's. Uh, so, Joseph, we're really glad to see you here today. Uh, when. Uh, uh, we first met in our Washington office. Andy and Jeff might remember we sat under a very large wall hanging. A picture of the World War II Memorial, now the most visited memorial on our nation's mall, that sits right there in the heart of freedom. Ours is a community that sprang into action during the dark days of that war as America and her allies fought for victory of liberty over tyranny, the most important accomplishment of the 20th century. From its earliest iteration, the GP, the General Purpose Vehicle, to what the world now knows as G, the men and women of this community innovated and answered the call to deliver all-purpose vehicles to the battlefront during World War II. I thought about that legacy during our meeting, which was about 18 months ago. And I think of it today as I imagine the Toledo region and Skylight at the fore of something so important again. Something as important as sustaining life when it hangs in the balance. Restoring hope from the skies when disaster strikes. With regularity, we are faced in the news with a crisis situation that demands rapid response, decisive action, first responders. I know there are many of those in this audience today. Andy mentioned Haiti. We can think of Katrina and Sandy and the tsunami that struck Japan. Of course, we can also recall the early days of the Iraq War when our own State Department was struggling mightily with getting information to civilians on the ground as our airstrikes were being ramped up. And I remember one particular State of the Union when Colin Powell uh, walked down the center aisle and I gave him a note that said, drop food. That's before there was Skylife. He actually did it. The Skylife concept is an important entry in our ability to down the road pre-position resources with life-saving nutrition, water, messaging, shelter, communications equipment, the list goes on. God forbid that the Middle East or any other unquiet place on this earth fester up again. Imagine the millions of people that such an innovation could help. It comes as no surprise to those of us who have chosen to spend our lives in this great region that this innovation could happen here. This is a community of innovators. Michael Owens, Charles Dana, Josina Lott, Harold McMaster, Thomas DeVilvis, 
And more recently, Dr. Al Kampan and Dr. Uh, Jungmin Dang in solar, Dr. Don Wedding and his daughter Carol Wedding in crystal display technology, certainly Mel and Don Harbaugh with their late father Mel Sr., and Skylife's inventor Jeff Potter, whose work is inspired by the wisdom of his hardworking father Terry. They all know innovation. Working hands across this area know how to innovate. They build on a rich history that has moved us forward when we needed it most. With Skylife, Toledo will answer the call just as it did when a waiting world needed it 70 years ago. Now I saw Jim Hartung here today, there he is. No one I know speaks to the vision of the Toledo region as a transportation and intermodal powerhouse as well as he does. He calls it transportation gestalt, a system so integrated that it becomes a way of life to conceptualize, produce, market, sell, and deliver what we make here with an unprecedented, seamless result. Imagine as a part of that system, Toledo becoming central to developing, making, and airlifting relief supplies to places all around our world where our 180th flies regularly, not on pallets that crash to the ground, but in fluttering packets that put the product into the hands of those who need it most. A seeming relief gestalt based on our ability to create, produce, ship, and deliver. It is why we are working so hard to introduce Skylife and its multiple innovations to officials in the non-governmental disaster relief network, as well as our military, the Federal Emergency Management Administration, and the broad network of first responders in our country and abroad. I am just so honored to be here today to join all of you, because we must recognize innovation at every turn as we work together to restore our region's might. As the economy has stabilized, it's time to grow it again. Innovation, such as Skyline, is an important part of the legacy we protect and the future we build together. Andy, Jeff, Don, and also the entire Team Skyline. We look forward to working with you to further advance your efforts and to build this and further its potential and possibilities forward. As you expand and branch, we hope that when you are busting at the seams and need a new home, or I should say an additional home, I know Paul Toth at our Port Authority has just the parcel at the nexus of the most traveled point in our entire region where I-75 and 475 cross together where the Jeep was originally named. God bless you all. Congratulations. We are all so happy to be here.